G'day guys, this is for you that um, are maybe pilots. I'm an aerial photographer, so I fly aeroplanes and helicopters every day. And one of the things we use over here in Australia is uh, same as the US, we've got ADS-B. So I've got one of these from Crew Dog I've been using for the last couple of years, Crew Dog Electronics, it's a Stratix ADS-B receiver. They are fantastic and they've saved our neck so many times. Over here, we don't use for flight, we use Avplan and Oz Runway, so it works seamlessly with that via Wi Fi. Um, one of the problems you might come across, or I have come across, because these things vibrate a lot in the helicopter and the plane, I noticed the last couple of months I was losing all my ADS B traffic, it wasn't getting a feed. I had GPS, I had um, all the other items that was working fine, I just couldn't get the traffic, it would be there and then it'd drop off. So you would only be relying on like traffic feeds from flight radar. So I found the solution after about three months and I thought I'd share it in case someone else comes across it. So what you need to do is just put it down, take these six um, screws out they've already taken out, take the lid off. What you'll find is, is the little micro processor because it's Raspberry Pi. What they've done is they've, they've done a really good job and they've got all these USB connectors. So the white one you can see there is the GPS. So if you lose GPS, give that a wiggle. And then the other two on the back here is for the 978 and the 1090, I think it is. They're the frequency 978 is for traffic in America and 1090 is the rest of the world. So here in Australia, all, all our traffic comes on 1090. So what I did is I just gave it a wiggle and it, it is all hot glued in. So they've done a very professional job. You can see here it's all hot glued. Um, but over time, the dust, the vibrations probably got to it. So just give that a quick wiggle and um, let's put it together and see if we get ourselves a feed again. So you can see here, I've just rebooted it on again and we don't have any traffic. This is using Chrome, so that gets your feed. And then in here, you'll get your status. So what was happening is I wasn't getting any feeds in here under the 1090. So it says here it's all working perfectly because we have all the, everything's all working. It hasn't got a fix because I've got it just on the window here. But we give it a second and then what it'll do, refresh it a couple of times and I'll come back to you and we should get some traffic in a second. It takes a couple of minutes for it to uh, to sort of organise and grab things. It's getting GPS so it's already got a lock and now it's got to grab some traffic that's around us. And there you have it, we're back alive again. So this line would say that we had no signal whatsoever. So it'd come and it'd go all around the whole state. I fly pretty much every day and um, we have it mounted to work it out. So you can see the traffic here. Here's all the traffic that we've got flying around. So these are guys that got a positive ADS-B and these guys are still trying, it might be a bit far away, still trying to find it out. And then if I flick over to, let's take Avplan, you'll see here the green one means that it's a positive ADS-B paint and the blue ones are the ones you're getting from a feed like flight radar or public services. So it can have a delay in it. So you never rely on the blue ones. I mean, you don't rely on these, just a guidance. But doing what we do every day, all day, it's uh, it's a saviour. If we go to um, if we go to Oz Runways, then it's a similar thing. You'll see that we have a light blue colour, which is the feed, and then you have a dark blue colour, which is which is um, which means that it's a ADS B paint. So there's that QFA probably shooting down to Melbourne. I would say he's a Melbourne run city Melbourne, um, which is surprising in COVID times. And it's a bit harder to check your traffic because of COVID. We have got very slow, uh, very slow air movements. To put in context, Sydney Airport, I mean, I fly in there every day in the helicopter. We normally have 1,500, 1,800 movements a day. At the moment, for the last three or four months, it's down to 120 movements. The COVID pandemic has absolutely decimated the aviation industry. Yet I digress, so this is for helping you if your ADS-B Stratix receiver doesn't work or you start losing a bit of traffic, often they have troubles with GPS. If you lose the GPS signal on the status, if this thing doesn't connect, then the same thing, just pull it open, give it a wiggle, put it back again, it can just vibrate. So I hope that's helped someone out there. And if not, then that doesn't matter. And if you've got nothing to do with aviation, you probably don't understand it. So have a good time and let's get over COVID. We're nearly out of it.